of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Now we're looking at Bespin Escape Princess Leia on probably one of the most boring lackluster card backs you will ever see. This is just not very exciting at all. It's really dark. It's... Uh, it's it, is, it just is. It's dark. Like, it's it's just not a good shot. There's so many great scenes from Cloud City that they could have used, but I'm sure there's just... They've got a very select group of shots they're allowed to use. Um, so I'm just going to... I'm going to just give them a pass because they put the figure out. I'm happy to have the figure. This is my first uh, Bespin layer in Bespin Escape layer in 3.75 inch uh, action figure form. Um, period. I've never got one. The, the last one that they did was in 2000's Power of the Jedi line. So it's been 21 years um, since we've had this version of Leia come out. So, so except for the Black Series one, we had a Black Series one a few years back. So. She is VC187. Other figures in the wave there. I'm just waiting on Grief Karga and the Child. And I'm not too fussed about the rest at this stage. So let's get her off this terrible card and take a look at the figure. All right, here is Bespin Escape Leia out of the packaging. And it's not a bad figure at all. There's just not a whole lot to it. Um, but again, it's a worthy addition seeing as they just released the, uh, Cloud City, uh, Carbon Freeze Chamber. So this figure works for that really well. The head sculpt looks really nice. Great detail there. The photo reel has really brought this, uh, brought this face sculpt to life. Uh, the hair is sort of sitting a little bit in. Uh, a lot of people have sort of spoken about that and, uh, did the old hot water trick. Um, just to sort of flex them out. It's just a process of being stuck in the packaging that's all sort of just get squashed down. It just It's just how it is, folks. Now we'll just look at the date stamp. There is no date on this. Um, but I'm going to say the top half of the body arms is... No, I'm not sure, to be honest. I feel like maybe the top legs and maybe the torso are the same as the Hoth layer that's been released a couple of times over the years. The arms could very well be different. I know the bottom arms are because she doesn't have the sort of com link and she's not wearing the boots. Um, so they've redone the bottom legs as well. But I dare say the top half of the legs and this is all the same. Uh, the head sculpt is, is good. It's definitely the highlight of the figure for me. Absolutely. Um... It is a little bit loose, that sort of ball joint there just isn't really shallow enough. I feel like it just needs to sit in a little more. Um, but that's fine, it's not going to pop off like it did straight out of the packaging. It actually takes a little bit of pulling to try to get that off. It was just sort of sitting loosely in the packaging, so as soon as I took the figure out, the head rolled onto the floor, so not a big deal. She does come with this E11 Stormtrooper Blaster, which is... Uh, cast in a grey plastic with a little bit of like silver and black um, splotch paint on it. I don't know. It looks okay. It's not terrible. It's not just a plain black or plain grey. It's a little bit different. It's alright. That's cool. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, this figure will go great with the new Lando when he comes out. So you can redo those scenes, escaping Bespin and little fun fact, Leia was the first one to say it's a trap Admiral Akbar gets all the credit for it but it was this chick right here calling out to Luke as uh, Imperial Jeremy Bullock was dragging her through the doorway but a nice addition to the collection, I will be honest. By no means the most exciting figure, but it is a good addition for the completest out there. And for any Princess Leia fans. So, it's a nice one. It looks good. I 
I would love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below about the figure, about the card back, any thoughts in particular about this figure. Please comment below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the notification bell and you will be notified when new videos drop. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate your time. Until my next video, may the force be with you always.